The new trailer for The Falcon and the Winter Soldier coming to Disney Plus has just been released at the Super Bowl 2021 and there is much to break down. This includes a range of footage showcasing references to the end of Avengers Endgame, the continuation from that point in the story, alongside potential easter eggs. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down this new trailer and giving you my overall thoughts towards it. If you want to watch the trailer yourself, I will leave a link in the description of this video, but for now, I'm going to be specifically focusing on my analysis. If you want to see more videos on all of the future Marvel films and TV shows, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoy this video, remember to give it a like rating. But without further ado, let's dive into my trailer breakdown for The Falcon and The Winter Soldier. Last night, Disney debuted the first full trailer for The Falcon and The Winter Soldier, one of the several big Marvel Studios shows that are being made specifically for the Disney Plus streaming service. The series is set after the events of Avengers Endgame, when Steve Rogers decided to return to the past and handed off his shield to Sam Wilson. Despite being Steve's chosen successor, it looks like things aren't going quite as planned for Sam and Bucky Barnes. From internal battles to enemies old and new, the trailer reveals some new things about this anticipated show. In particular, the trailer opens with Anthony Mackie's Sam Wilson visiting the Washington DC Museum exhibit devoted to Captain America, presumably as a way to remember his friend and former colleague Steve Rogers, who aged out of the position at the end of Avengers Endgame. The legacy of that shield is complicated, he says to Sebastian Stan's Bucky Barnes, potentially alluding to the in-universe experiments which were performed on black characters to perform the super soldier serum that turned Steve Rogers into Captain America. And speaking of complications, it looks like a different character is wielding Cap's shield later in the trailer, so this might be a scene depicting Sam breaking into this exhibition to take the one that's on display for himself. So what we learn is that although Steve may have picked Sam, the Falcon is having a hard time with his new role and the series seems to be playing that story beat out. But as we start to move through the trailer, we learn from Bucky that the world is gravely upside down. It appears that the two of them are being led through the streets of a Japanese city, perhaps even the same area where Jeremy Renner's Hawkeye had that fight in the streets during his Ronin period of Endgame. Perhaps more importantly, we wonder who the third figure is, leading our heroes into this neon city. Also, who are these gang members who seem to be behind the shots of explosions and destruction around the world? We know that they are grunts who are rumoured to work for Flag Smasher, an anti-patriotic villain who in the comics uses terrorism to stoke anti-nationalist sentiment in various countries. We also get shots of Sam and Bucky getting on Sam's family boat and open a suitcase, which if I had to guess, might contain the suit and maybe even the protocols for implementing US Agent, a mantle that's eventually worn by John Walker. People need something to get behind, Bucky says, implying that the loss of Captain America has left a hole in the nation's psyche. But their plans will almost certainly be challenged by Baron Zemo, played by Daniel Brawl, the mastermind behind Captain America Civil War who appears to be paying tribute to his fallen family in a first shot. We already know what's happening in the second shot, where the metallic hand which belongs to Bucky Barnes enters the frame and the character comes face to face with Zemo, pointing a gun at him and eventually emptying out the bullets. Is there any significance to the fact that only four bullets are removed? Well, we'll have to wait and see. We then see the US agent who is being honoured during a patriotic presentation on a football field and note that he's carrying a shield, perhaps THE shield, and since he isn't expected to end up being quite the symbol of hope that the world needs, that could be the reason Sam ends up in that museum looking for a shield of his own. 
Sam isn't shown holding the original shield even once in the trailer, and although he was seen practicing with it in the last teaser, it seems he isn't quite ready to use the shield in combat yet. In the comics, Sam fought with both his wings and the shield as Cap, so perhaps the series will build up to this event later on when he finally embraces the mantle. Or like this trailer could suggest, maybe he will have a shield of his own. The rest of this trailer also contains some pretty solid action beats, including a lengthy sequence following Falcon as he soars through a canyon, dodging missiles from a helicopter. But it all ends with a moment of levity, with Falcon and the Winter Soldier engaging in their usual banter. There are obviously the many questions surrounding who gets the shield and who is the mysterious figure we mentioned before, but with all of this, there is a great focus on the kind of action and humour we'd expect from these characters in the MCU, almost reminiscent of that in Captain America The Winter Soldier, which to this day is still my favourite MCU movie. We'll soon find out the answers to all of these questions and also see if the action and story holds up, as we will only have to wait until March the 19th to watch the new show. But that was my brief breakdown video for the new Falcon and the Winter Soldier trailer at the Super Bowl. I thought this newest look at the upcoming Disney Plus show gave us a good mixture of story and action, alongside making us ask questions towards the main characters. It's a good starting point for a show, discussing who should take up the mantle and how that process should be pushed forward, whether it's a new shield or a passing of the torch, alongside all the mysteries of the villains in the process. I think at the heart of this they build the chemistry between Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan that can really keep a show going for many episodes, building out the world even more and sustaining what people love about their characters. I was hoping for some more trailers to show some of the other projects they are working on, but considering the current situation with Covid and that this show is the next one that they really want to push heavily, I can understand why it was the only trailer we got from Marvel. We'll have to see how the Falcon and the Winter Soldier turns out, but if it catches the attention like WandaVision has recently, then we should be in for a decent series. I hope you guys enjoyed my breakdown of this trailer, and overall, I'm looking forward to seeing what Marvel does, alongside covering their next films and TV shows on the channel when they release. I'm also intrigued to hear all of your thoughts on this latest trailer, so let me know down below in the comment section. For more content on all of the upcoming Marvel films and TV shows, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Also, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like rating. I am currently covering every episode of WandaVision on the channel, so if you are into all of the things that Marvel are doing, then make sure to keep a lookout for whenever I post. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it, I've been Cortex, and as always, make some noise.